Well, Saturday night, make sure you get there early and get one of those Marshawn Lynch bobbleheads in Berkeley because it's going to be happening. They only got about 10,000 of them they're handing out. And it's going to be an interesting game. Some Marshawn Lynch esque plays are going to be what Cal Bear fans hope for. And what I love about the Bears when they go up against UW, they're going to have to have success in the screen game. They do it as well as any team in the Pac 12 Conference, and it's because they don't block people. They block spaces in their offensive line. Davis Webb, their passing attack, there's so much vertical elements to that. I think if they can get the screen game going, see if they can get the ball in the hands of Kalfani Muhammad, Trey Watson, a couple of those explosive players come out of the backfield, they'll have an opportunity to put some points up on the board. But at the end of the day, if you want to win an upset number five team in this week's college football playoff rankings in UW, you got to win against this secondary. Hopefully for Cal, they get Chad Hansen back because they're going to desperately need him. But when they go up against this vaunted secondary of UW, they're going to have to come back to the ball. They're going to have to win these late, <laughs> these late balls. They're in the air fighting against the corners of UW because they got some of the best in the country in Kevin King and Sidney Jones. So speaking of that vaunted secondary, they do such a great job of understanding route concepts, timing. Here's a great example against Utah. They understand it's quick game. All of a sudden, they call it in the secondary world, clutch gas. Put your foot on the clutch, hit the gas, drive on the ball. Big time job by Buda Baker, understanding the down and distance, the game situations, and overall the football acumen of the secondary. I think it's the best in the entire country. And corner Sidney Jones is a huge reason why. An academic All-American as well. He checks all the boxes, according to Chris Peterson. Also the line of scrimmage, great in press coverage. You want to double move him, that's okay. He'll be patient with his footwork. He'll play with you there he's, as he does against Tim Patrick, one of the top wideouts in this conference. And of course, late. He plays the ball instead of playing the wide receiver. That's big time. I think this team is big time. I think they got snubbed in the initial college football playoff rankings. Look out for UW coming into Berkeley. If the Bears have a chance, it's going to be because they can create big explosive plays in their screen game and can win late at wide receiver. A tall task against one of the top defenses in the entire country. Don't miss this one. Get your bobblehead, get comfortable, and potentially have Pac-12 after dark written all over it. 7.30, UW Cal on ESPN.